All right, I'm going to go over the theme options panel really quickly. So you can access it via the theme options right here or under a dashboard under appearance and theme options. And so the first tab is basic and it's the basic tab and it's really simple. It covers the copyright text at the bottom of your theme down there. Um, you can either enable or disable footer widgets if you want. How many columns there are in the footer widgets and then a bunch of sidebars on all these pages. <clears throat> Whether you want the sidebar on the left or the right, a whole bunch of information. Then there's a shop page tab, which um, controls all sorts of things like how many shop items per page, columns per shop, and then sidebars on the shop. Same thing for portfolio, sidebars, etc. And then the home page. Um, it just has an option for the sidebar on the home page. So if we turn that on, our home page gets a sidebar. Then there's a widgets one, and this widgets one corresponds with a specific widget, which is this social icons widget. And let me show you that one actually, because it'll make more sense if I show you it. And it's progression, and it should be social widgets social icons so if I save it and I show you it it has this logo and so you can in a live preview I have no title and then that logo is right here so you can disable the logo if you want and then obviously if you type in links it'll show up underneath and then description can go there so I'm just trying to show you what this widgets tab is right here. It just controls that one specific widget since it has a lot of extra options like a logo and etc. And then there's an appearance tab and that's where you would upload your logo. And so it's really simple. You just upload your logo and click use image. And then you would type in your logo width. And then under favorite icon, you could have one which is up here, this little icon up there. And then navigation height. That is how tall your navigation is. And why you need that is just because for these hover boxes and such, um, you need to set it properly. And basically you would just pick your logo width and your logo height right there. That's generally the rule of thumb. And obviously you can play with it. Let me type in a really tall number and I'll just show you what happens. So you see how the, the top menu got really big. Um, so obviously you can just play around with it, the numbers and get how you like. And then you can change the fonts to whatever you like there. These are the three custom fonts. And then under tools, we have a couple um, basic SEO options. Excuse me. Um, if you're using a plugin like Yoast, just leave these blank, but these just kind of give you some extra options for the home page. And then if you want to type in tracking code and custom code, place it in there. And then slider options are all over here. Just read the description on the side of each option. It explains what it does, 